what's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications and go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. Don't forget about our live shows Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time and live with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Join the channel for exclusive content and hit me up if you want to join the TKO Debate Series on my email address that's knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com or you can hit me up on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. But let's get it popping, bro. Look, I've been told y'all, man, the takes on the channel age like fine wine, bro. And I've been spot on, 100, 1,000% correct about this Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia situation. And if you real, give me my flowers, bro. Give me my flowers. Now, Steven Espinosa, this is, what, this is what's going on, bro. And I'm going to break it all down for y'all. And everything I say, irrefutable, bro. Tell me, tell me why I ain't speaking, speaking facts to y'all, man. Steven Espinosa came out late yesterday. I've been trying to tell y'all, pay no attention to those saying it won't happen just so they can later claim to have saved it. Obviously, directly talking about Oscar De La Hoya. Then, later on today, Michael Benson comes out and reports Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia reportedly now appears to be back on track and could be signed today as PBC have sent over a new contract which would allow Golden Boy to be lead promoter if Ryan wins and Javante activates the rematch clock. Now, I told y'all from jump, I said, look, man, y'all asking Tank Davis to do some shit that he shouldn't even have to do to get this fight, bro. The same way that people was asking Devin Haney to do some shit that he shouldn't even have to do to get this fight. And I told y'all, the only reason that Oscar De La Hoya and Ryan Garcia, and yeah, I'm including Ryan Garcia in this shit, and I'm going to prove it to you. The only reason that Oscar De La Hoya and Ryan Garcia are asking for this shit is because they know and they're hoping that it's something that Tank Davis won't agree to. It's the biggest pump fake in the world. Because in no form or fashion, no matter how many facts I give y'all, in no form or fashion has that shit ever happened. Where you beat somebody and just simply beating them makes you the A-side. I, tell, I told y'all this shit. And I told y'all that's why that he was asking for that shit. And I told y'all Devin Haney shouldn't have to go to no motherfucking Australia twice and then let them pick his third fight off for of Undisputed. Think about that shit for a second. Devin Haney had to get under, go to Australia, become Undisputed, defend Undisputed in Australia, and then he has to give top rank whatever fight that they want Also, he could get that first fight. That shit was unrealistic. I told y'all about Tank Davis. Look, man, he the A-side, bro. If Ryan beat him, that don't make Ryan the A-side. And y'all argue me up and down, no matter how many examples I give you, bro. No matter how many examples I give you. I said, bro, look, Manny Pacquiao lost to Tim Bradley. When they had their rematch, Manny Pacquiao was still the A-side. I said, man, look, Anthony Joshua lost to Andy Ruiz. When Anthony Joshua had his rematch, Anthony Joshua was still the A-side. I told y'all, look, Oscar De La Hoya lost to Shane Mosley. When Oscar De La Hoya had his rematch with Shane Mosley, Oscar De La Hoya was still the A-side. Canelo Alvarez lost to Dimitri Bivol. If they had their rematch, Canelo Alvarez will still be the A-side. Give you all these facts. Mike Tyson lost to Evander Holyfield. When Mike Tyson got his rematch, Mike Tyson was still the A-side. I give you all these facts. And y'all tell me I'm the one that's tripping. Oh, you only saying that because you a Tank Davis fan. And I tell y'all, brother, the only reason Oscar is asking for this shit he knows that he's asking for this shit because he's hoping that the PBC walks away from the table so people that ain't paying attention will blame Al Heyman, PBC, and Tank Davis. That's what he's hoping for, that they will just pull the plug and be like, man, come on, bro, you know you're being unrealistic and unreasonable. We ain't, we, we just going to move on because that's some bullshit. Wouldn't nobody agree to that shit? Ain't nobody in the history of boxing agree to no bullshit like that. That's what he was hoping for. But when this report came out and... And, and, and it was reported that the PBC went ahead and, and gave in, which they shouldn't have done. That he, they gave in and sent that shit to him, everything he was asking for. This is what Oscar De La Hoya said. And this is why y'all can't mess with me, bro. This is why the takes age like fine wine. Because the sense 
It's real common. Common sense around here. Real good logic. Told y'all from the jump. This was Oscar De La Hoya said an hour after the report. I remain focused and determined on finalizing Tank vs. King Rock. Contrary to leaked reports about the rematch clause, there are still a couple of points with strings attached that need to be ironed out. Wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute. He the one that did the leaked reports. Would nobody know shit about a rematch clause if not for Oscar De La Hoya? So he's talking about himself. Contrary to the leaked reports that I leaked myself, there's still a couple of more things. If there's a couple of more things, how come you didn't address those things when you was crying about the rematch clause? Because he didn't expect PBC to acquiesce and give in to his bullshit demands that I proved to y'all over and over again was bullshit in the first place. He was demanding that shit because he never really wanted to fight. He never wanted that shit. That's why he was asking for some shit that has no, sp no place in history in the sport of boxing, bro. That's why he was asking for that shit. And now here we are, PBC, because Tank Davis probably pressured their ass and said, man, make the fight. I'm going to beat his ass anyway. Make the fight. They went ahead and said, fine, bro, y'all can be the A-side in the rematch. Here's the new contract. Now all of a sudden he get that shit, and lo and behold, now there's what? Still a couple more points with strings attached that need to be ironed out. But you told us. You told us that it was just a rematch. That that was standard in boxing, which is a bald-faced lie, bro. So y'all tell me, y'all explain to me why in the hell he didn't, bring, he didn't bring up any kind of sticking points when he was talking about the rematch club. So it's, though, it's that, it's that age-old adage, man. They keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Until they hope PBC walks away from the table. Oh, you gave me this. Let me ask for some more shit. Oh, you gave me this. Let me ask for some more shit. And this is coming from a clear B side in negotiations. And y'all will blame Tank Davis and his team to this day when you got all these shenanigans going on from Oscar. This man again, then lied to y'all again, bro. How many lies do I have to point out before y'all see who you need to be blamed? I already proved you that he lied about, hey, man, when you win, that make you the A-side. That's the standard practice. That's how it always works. I proved to you that that shit is a lie. Not based on my opinion, based on facts. Now, the man is saying that there's a couple more sticking points that we got to iron out. But he's literally less than a week ago, a couple of days ago, all that was the issue was the rematch clause? We was on the goal line, one yard line, Super Bowl about to happen. Don't fumble the ball. If if we if we if Ryan wins, then we should be the A match, A side. That's just what it is. We gotta be the A side in the rematch, and the zone should be able to broadcast it. All that shit. That was the only issue. Now that they done solved that issue and sent you the shit that you was crying for, now there's another issue. But y'all want me to believe that they really want this fight. Y'all want me to believe that I'm the one that's wrong. All right, cool. If I'm wrong, explain to me why he's bold-faced lying in public about this is how this shit always works. Hey, you win, you become the A-side. I've proven that that's false. So explain to me explain to me why I'm wrong there. Since I'm wrong, since I'm wrong to so many of y'all to be in my comment section, bro. Since I'm so wrong, explain to me why there's an exception for Ryan. Point one. Point two, if I'm wrong, explain to me how Tank Davis and his team can allow them to have that and say, man, you know what, bro? You don't really deserve this shit, but here, bro. You asking for that bullshit, I'm going to beat your ass anyway. Here, y'all can be the A-side in the rematch if you beat Tank Davis and he wants his rematch. You can be the A-side. They give him that. They give him that, and then Oscar De La Hoya says, oh, man, hold up. Contrary to the leaked reports, which I leaked myself, but I'm just too high and too stupid to realize that I'm basically shitting on myself and lying and, and making myself look even worse. Contrary to popular belief, or leaked reports that I leaked. It ain't just a rematch clause. There's other sticking points and other things we need to iron out. Oh, really? Oh, really? What are those things now? Bro, miss me with that, bro. This is bullshit. Oscar don't want this fight. And I'm telling y'all, Ryan is complicit because that's what y'all bring. Oh, the Muhammad Ali had. If I got a bigger offer, then I can take the bigger offer. If I got if I got if I got a better offer, then I can take that offer. My promoter can't block me. Well, what offer Ryan got that's gonna be better than this? 
So if he don't buck Oscar, if he don't go against what Oscar De La Hoya is doing and fight Tank anyway and, and, and use the fact that this is the best offer, the most money that he could get, then he complicit in this shit and he don't want to fight neither. That what that the Muhammad Ali act for, right? That what that that what that what it for, right? That what y'all told me. The Muhammad Ali act means that your you, you know your promoter can't block you. Your promoter can't block you. So if you get a great offer and it's for more money than what your promoter is offering you to fight, then they can't block you from that fight. You get to take that fight. Well, what offer Ryan gonna get that's better than the Tank Davis fight, bigger than the Tank Davis fight, gonna give him more money than the Tank Davis fight? So if he don't go against Oscar, then he's complicit. And by way of being complicit, he a duck too. Care what y'all tell me, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. And if you got a breakdown or a prediction, knockout boxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email. Don't forget we live Wednesday and Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time and Monday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And we also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday morning is 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Appreciate everybody watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.